Hello everyone, I'm Rhymes2099. Uh, welcome back to another review. And this is the uh, Crossbones and Captain America Civil War 2 pack. So, we're going to take a look, a real quick look at the packaging, and then we'll get a quick closer look at these figures. Which, um, I was hesitant about making this review because my dog ate the box. Hey, it's me, hey! Please don't zoom in on my face and find what I look like. But anyway, you do get a little bio. Pause it now if you wish. This is from Civil War, so yeah. And then you get a little bio for Captain America. And a little bio for uh, Crossbones. And then the movie poster. And then what you do have on the back on this side is some concept art and stuff. I think that was the concept art for Black Panther. Anyway, very cool. Very cool packaging. Oh, and it does have the varnished uh, Marvel Studio 7th Anniversary stuff, which I really like this line. I'm really hoping that it continues with a box set of the um, Sons of Children of Thanos. What were they called? The Dark Ones or the Dark League. Um, so I was hesitant of making this review because my dog ate the head for Captain America. So, mm. I'm going to try and find a new one on eBay. If you, I don't know, know a seller who's just selling the heads, is just selling the Captain America head preferably, please tell me because I need one for a stop motion. That's why you never see his face in X-Men vs. Avengers except in the first one. So, we're going to take a closer look at Crossbones later. We're going to take a closer look at Captain America. Just going to take off the shield. Now, he is a standard 6-inch figure. And if you have the Age of Ultron one or the Civil War release, not the Studio Series one. I call it Studio Series. It's 10th anniversary. I know, I know, I know. Uh, but they're both owned by Hasbro. So, Transformers and Marvel could live in the same universe. But, he has nice glossy paint. Um... Sometimes when it hits the light, it looks more glossy, but I really like that head. It's definitely Chris Evans. Um, and you can just see, it looks just like Chris Evans. I mean, I have been watching his YouTube channel. Uh, he has one. And then you do see the black around the star, which I think is perfect, because that sort of invicts the... Uh, Avengers Infinity War, no star, no more. Um, so, anyway, here's the side. And what's weird about this shoulder is it has a different color pattern for the Avenger symbol. And that's the back. Those are the legs, those are the legs. Now let's run through articulation. He has a hinge at the shoulder going fully out. He's a rotation, double bend, and then a wrist swivel. And then you can, of course, swap the hands. So if you have the Civil War one that comes with, like, the straight hand for shaking, you can use that. He has a ball joint at the head and a hinge at the head so you can get up up that much, down that much. Then you have an ab crunch and a waist, sw waist swivel. <laughs> Sorry, my voice hurts. And then you have a waist swivel. And then this belt can move down and move up because it's not glued in anywhere. I wish it was. I may just glue it in myself. Anyway, you do have a hinge. You do have a ball joint, so you can't get out that much. You do have a rotation. Is that the mail truck? If it is, maybe my Star Lord figure came. And then you do have a double joint, double bend. And you have a swivel and an ankle rocker pivot. And, uh, yeah, you can't take full advantage of that by getting this as his longest, as his widest pose. And then you court of course comes with the shield, which is not the way I like it. I don't like this one because you can't put it on the back or anything. Um, but it's fine for what it is, which is just a simple, a simple little shield. And I think this is a f fantastic Captain America. Um, I I like this one better than the S H Fjords one. Uh, the face is fantastic on it. Of course, you can't see that face. Um, it does look really lossy, that's just because my light is coming here, but if you kind of cover it up a little bit, you can see it's not that shiny. It's just the light making it look shiny. 
Now let's take a look at that Crossbones figure. So here's the Crossbones, and I do have his head, so don't worry. But this one got a little knocked up during shipping or something. Um, and then you can, of course, see in his helmet uh, the like scars and stuff that he has. So anyway, articulation-wise, he has a rotation, hinge, swivel, double-jointed, wrist, but when you put the power gauntlets on, you can't really get that. Basically the same stuff. The legs are a little bit different. Not too much. There's no boot rotation, which I kind of like because sometimes uh, during stop motion, this will go back and it'll look like he broke his leg, um, which sucks and you don't want to see. Um... And there's no ab crunch because, well, you can't get it because this is entirely soft plastic. But just by the look of him, he looks evil. Evil and like a really good villain. And of course, you can't take off the power gauntlets. Or, what were these called? Now I'm going to call them power gauntlets. Oh. Anyway, uh, they have a thing right here where when you put the fist in, grab it. Now there was no knife, which, I mean, that would have been cool. Uh, some of you customizers, and maybe I will just take a little bit of epoxy sculpt and just wedge it in there. And then, yeah, it looks pretty nice. You can definitely use this for a shocker custom. Uh, maybe they should actually make a shocker figure for the movie, because that was a pretty good shocker. And yeah, and it comes with two of them, because he wore them in the movie. But you can, of course, see that this is molded to be like a jacket, and it looks nice. And, of course, you can if you're doing a stop motion and you don't want him to hold them. You could have him, like, holding a gun or something or a grenade, which I have no guns. No grenades. Um, he does have nicely molded stuff on him. I mean, it's just, this figure is fantastic. Uh, when I first saw him in photos, I was like, I just want him for the Captain America. But I really like this figure. And, of course, Poe. The cute little... Something uh, did not actually chew up the head of Crossbones, which is nice because this is a pretty good head sculpt, I think. Uh, the just the red stuff on his face, which I think has like veins or scratches or something, looks nice. And you can of course get him like talking, or like that scene where he was like they pulled off his face and he was like, "I am the bomb," <laughs> killing Black Panther's father created the entire Civil War. Because stupid Bucky. Um, and I think that this is just a good figure to play around with. I love just like doing stop motions where he's the villain. And that's why uh, and that head is just fantastic. They really did a good job on the head. I think. But um, then again I do have a very strict opinion about certain figures. Um and especially since I didn't like Crossbones in the movie because he didn't have enough time to really develop like he does in the comics. This just sells the character even more for me. So yeah, I really think that this is a good two-pack because it comes with enough stuff to keep you entertained and it comes with two interesting characters. I would have actually preferred if they made a Black Panther one. Not from the movie, but the Black Panther character. Which that they made a better T'Challa face. Um... Hold on, I have to get on the power gauntlets. Yeah, they're soft plastic, so you just kind of push them on, and then his hand, his hand grabs them. Um. But yeah, I think these is, are still like a fantastic pack of figures. Where I wish that they made a Black Panther one, because you could get so many good things with it. And Civil War was the movie where they had the like most characters. Um. And you, of course, can get, like, punching poses with Captain America. And it's good that it, they're both villains. I mean, they're both... One's a hero and one's a villain. Because, like, if you buy, like, the Vision and Scarlet Witch pack, then you have to buy the Proxima Midnight for them to fight. Um, where this is just, like, provides all the fun. And I'm trying to get cool poses, but they sometimes don't stand, mostly because my review space is not actually, like, straight. It's a little bent. In the center, there's a tiny little dip, but anyway, you can get really nice poses, and these guys are perfect for stop motions, because he comes with a really good head, they come with really good heads, 
sometimes they fall over, mostly because it's my review space. Um, they have really good articulation, and they look very good. And, especially, and if we just got this figure, I would have totally skipped out on it. But the Captain America just sells this thing even more for me. Because uh, Captain America is one of my favorite characters. Um, because he was one of the first that I was sort of like introduced to him in Iron Man. I know, my hands are really, really in the shot right now. And they're just making things worse. But these guys are 6-inch figures. Normal Marvel Legends. But these guys, if you kind of told me and I was like a little like didn't know the difference between really SH figures and um, Marvel Legends, and you told me that this was an SH figure, I would believe you. Um, it's the articulation that obviously throws it off, and the look of the uh, articulation hinges, but if like you didn't know it, you just saw like the figures from their packaging, or like heard about them, you could pass this off as SH figures. Anyway, these guys are really cool. The Captain America head, I really wish I had a better one to show you, because it's pretty fantastic. If you look up uh, Optibonimus reviews, um, not not Optibonimus, uh, Ball, what's his name? Shardim's Prime. Forgot his name for a little bit. I knew it was something Transformers. Um, he did an awesome review of these guys. I'd recommend checking it out if you want more in depth look at them. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Rodimus twenty nine. Rodimus twenty ninety nine. Thank you for supporting me. If you did enjoy this video review, subscribe. Because I'm trying to hit 20 subscribers. Pretty dang close. Anyway, see you guys. Maybe in the next video today. Maybe I'll post three. I'm kind of bored today, so why not?